Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to talk about Ferrari because a few days ago, Ferrari unveiled the 296 GTS. And I'm not going to lie to you. I really wasn't expecting to see this car this soon. Uh, I kind of thought maybe they'd wait at least to the GTB was released before they even considered uh, releasing a spider but yeah here it is the gts and you know i had a few questions about this car when it was first unveiled a year ago uh, whether it would be you know right at the cusp of the v8 or replacing the v8 and you know ferrari still hasn't answered that question we don't know if this is replacement for the F8 Tributo, or, you know, if this is something that sits above it or below it, have no clue. I think the F8 Tributo, the name even says it, might have been the last hurrah for the Ferrari V8. And by that, I mean last naturally aspirated or turbocharged V8 because the SF90 Stradale is a hybrid V8, but that isn't really a replacement for the F8 Tributo at all then again ferrari could be starting a whole new lineage with these all new cars we don't know because they haven't really said and i've been thinking will there be a special version of these cars you know i pista challenge stradali stuff of that nature or is the seto fiorano package that new special version of the car I really don't think we'll have to wait that long for Ferrari to announce if they're going to be doing something special with this car. Now, of course, this is a convertible, hardtop convertible, and it weighs over 100 pounds more than the uh, GTB. Now, that's mostly because of structural rigidity and, you know, the hardtop components and things of that nature but they say the car has the same performance so you're not losing anything performance wise while ferrari hasn't released a price we can only assume that this car will cost way more than the coupe uh, because that's usually the thing with ferrari and lastly i'm just going to talk about the design uh you would have thought that the design would grow on me with time but it really hasn't there's just some elements about this car that i really don't like even though i do think it's a cleaner more simplistic design than the f8 tributo was that car was just all over the place with its design it's just something about this i really don't like maybe if i would have seen this before i've seen the roma i would you know be more enthused but once i've seen the roma which is you know one of my favorite looking ferraris modern ferraris for that matter uh, it's just you know it's kind of hard to compare anything else to it and i was going to trigger some folks by doing a configuration of this car on ferrari's website but there wasn't that many options to be found there and i felt like it wouldn't be wild enough for the people that watch my videos to get, you know, excited or build hatred for. So I just didn't really do it. At least I didn't do it for a separate video like I would normally do here on this channel. But I'm sure if you're an actual Ferrari customer, your ability to customize this car is going to be way more extensive than what you can do on the internet because it's a $300,000 plus dollar car they're going to take care of you if you're actually interested in buying this thing overall i think this is going to be a good car for the people who not really interested in the design you can always step up to the sf90 spider that's probably what ferrari wants you to do anyways and once you get into their faster more expensive cars and right now that's it even though they do have an echelon of cars that's a little bit higher than that but that car has already been spoken for, completely sold out. So there you have it, Ferrari's newest hybrid sports car. What do you think of it? Are you excited for the 296 GTB and GTS? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. I've got a lot of stuff for the channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. With that said, I'll catch you later.